In this video, I'd like to show you the benefits of using responsive images and how you can generate them using the media library. Let's take a look at the source of this page. Here you can see that we load one image, but instead of using the source attribute, we use a source set attribute. In a source set attribute, you can specify multiple sources. You can say to the browser, hey, use this image. If the width of the screen is higher than this value, use this image if it is higher than this value and so on. And of course, the lower the width of your screen, the lower image that we'll use. Now this entire source set attributes and including all the images is something that the media library can take care of. We even do something extra. The media library inlines a blurred version of the image. Because this blurred version is totally inlined, it can be displayed immediately after the page has loaded. This is quite handy when you use a slow internet connection. You'll immediately see something before the actual image is loaded. And so you don't have any jumps in the layout of your page. Let's demonstrate this all. I'm going to throttle my network performance so you can see this all in action. So we are going to pretend that we're on a fast 3G connection. And let's refresh this page. Now you see the blurred version, and now the big one is downloaded. Let's also see the responsive images in action. And to do this, I'm going to make my window a little bit smaller. And I'm going to refresh the page again. I'm going to clear out the stuff below here. Let's refresh. You can see the blurred version. And here you see that the browser now uses a lower resolution version of the image. If I make the screen a little bit wider, you'll see it download a slightly higher version. And the cool thing is, if I do this very fast, it will even cancel pending downloads that aren't needed anymore because the window has now grown bigger. So by using responsive images, visitors of your site will get served an image that is sized perfectly for their screen. Let's take a look at how you can generate and display responsive images using the media library. Let's head to PHP Storm. And I'm going to reset the demo here so you can see the generation process in action. So if I go to the public directory, and refresh the file system, then you can see that we have no media at all here. And let's take a look at the demo. So if I hit the generating responsive images route, then we will create an article. We will add some media in there, the picture of the library. And the only thing that I need to do to generate responsive images is tack on with responsive images. And then I add it to the collection. Let's visit that route. So. I'm going to use my visit command here, generating responsive images. And if I refresh the file system, we see the media has been added. And in addition to the conversions, the media library has generated responsive images. And you can see that this one is the, the smallest one. Let's open it up. It's this dimension. And of course, we have a higher resolution version of this as well. And we use an algorithm here of which we predict that each version is about 15% less in size than the original one. So this one is 15% lower, this one is 15% lower, and so on. Of course, you can customize that algorithm a little bit. Look in the documentation for more information about this. Now that we have generated all those responsive images, let's take a look at how they can be displayed. Now the media library makes this very easy. So this is the route that we just viewed in the browser. So we'll just get the media of the latest created article, and then we'll pass the media to this view. And let's take a look at that view. The only thing you need to do is just output that media. And behind the scenes, because media is HTML-able, Blade can render this as HTML, and the media library takes care of filling the source set attribute. So getting started with so getting started with responsive images is actually quite easy. You only need to tack on with responsive images and output the media. And with that done, you get all the behavior that I just showcased in the browser. There are a few customization options that I haven't mentioned. Head to the documentation to learn more about them.